Hello and welcome back to another video. For the start of this video, I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys, talk about some things that are on my mind, and also just go over what this video is going to be about. So while I'm doing this, I'm gonna roll some footage from a couple of days ago where I was kind of cleaning up my bed area and also putting together my lamp. So while that's rolling, I'm just gonna sit down, talk to you guys, and we're gonna really go over what this video is about. So getting right into it, one of the hardest things I've had to face when I started losing my vision was a lack of drive. As a kid, I always looked forward to life. I wanted to become successful financially and then just have a simple life enjoying the small things the world had to offer. But now, I don't look forward to the future. I can't remember the last time I woke up feeling excited or even just like I had a purpose to live. I'm just pushing through every day with no goals and no aspirations. So I decided to make a goal for myself and while I know this goal isn't going to give me the purpose that I desperately want, it's something to work towards and achieve even if it's just for a couple of months. So what is the goal? Well on screen now is some footage of my current physique and my goal is to drop some weight and try to improve it. To some of you this may seem shallow because people who work out have a big stereotype of being narcissistic and wanting to be attractive, but for me working out is so much more than that. Every single day I'm losing more and more control of my life, but the one thing that has always been there for me has been the gym. It's the one place where my eyesight doesn't hold me back. I don't have to be able to react quickly and I don't have to be able to see clearly, I just get to show up and give it my all. My physique is the one thing in life that I actually have control over. I've only been working out for about a year, so I haven't really been doing this that long. Ideally, if I wanted to achieve my best possible physique, I would simply keep building muscle over the following years and gradually lower my body fat percentage. But like I said, I'm just looking for something short term to have a goal in my life, and this is one of the few things I have. So here's my plan of action. My current body weight is 150 pounds. I'm not sure how often I'm gonna update you guys on my progress, but you can use that weight as sort of a reference for when I do update you. Currently, I'm going to track my food intake and my goal is to stay under 2100 calories while also eating enough protein to continue building muscle. I use MyFitnessPal to track everything and today I'm just going to bring you along with me as I track my food. As you can see, I've already had breakfast and inputted it into the app. So we're gonna go ahead and continue this video picking up after breakfast. All right, I just finished up breakfast. The plan from here is to go hit the gym. It's about 9.30 in the morning. Then we're gonna come back, have a protein shake, and then we're gonna head out again and go to the park and do some cardio. So I'm gonna hit the gym, then I will catch up with you guys after that. Alright, and we are back from the gym. I'm gonna snag some protein here. Alright, just finished my protein shake, so now it is time to go to the park and do some quick cardio. So here we go. Destination. Determination, deliberation. All right, and we made it at the park. I'm gonna put these sunglasses on that are too small for my face, really. I need to get some new ones. Then I'm also gonna put in some music and we're just gonna run. I'm probably gonna do some sprints that way and then jog back this way. Just keep it simple. I'm gonna put in some music so it's not so boring. And yeah, it feels really good out here. I think it's only like 90, 95 degrees, which is fantastic for Arizona. I don't think it's supposed to break 100 today, which is flipping amazing. So I'm gonna put on some music. We're just gonna get this thing rolling and then we will go from there.
All right, quick water break. This ground is really uneven, which isn't good for running, but we'll make do. All right, I'm tired. That was a good start. I haven't done cardio in like three weeks or so, so it feels good just to get outside, get the heart pumping more. It doesn't really ever beat this fast when you're lifting, so it feels good to just kind of kick it up a little bit and just be outside. So I'm gonna head home and I'll catch you guys there. All right, and we are back from the park. I'm gonna set you up right here real quick. There we go, and I'm going to make some lunch. I am flipping starving. All I've had is breakfast and a protein shake, and it is currently almost one o'clock, so I need some lunch before I crash. We're just gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna have some chicken breast, and then I'm also going to have some of this rice, basmati, basma, basmati? I assume it's basmati, but I don't know the origin of the language. And even if I did, I probably still wouldn't pronounce it correctly. In one of my videos, I had a comment asking, if you're trying to save the chickens, then why are you eating chicken products? The thing is, I have no problem eating chicken products. The only thing I have a problem with, I can't get this thing to flip, oh my gosh. The only thing I actually have a problem with is chickens being treated inhumanely. Ideally, I would want the chickens to be treated correctly while they're living, and then humanely put down and then processed for eating. I just don't want the chickens to suffer in order for me to eat them. So that's why I eat organic chicken. That's why I have organic eggs in the, in the refrigerator because I just don't want them to suffer. But I have no problem whatsoever eating them because it's just the circle of life. Alright, food has been acquired, 160 grams of chicken breast, plus rice, plus baby carrots. I'm going to enjoy this and catch up with you guys in a little bit. So I forgot to film this the other day when I had it, but I had this as a snack. Piece of bread with peanut butter and a banana. Absolutely delicious. It's not great in the protein department, but it's just a really good snack for holding you off in between meals. On another note, my chair finally arrived today. I'll put a link to it down in the description if you're interested in what it is. Also, a lot of you people are constantly asking for ways to support me, to donate to me. While I don't want to accept direct cash as I've talked about in previous videos, if you want, there is a link down in the description to Amazon. And if you use that link and then you shop on Amazon and purchase things, I do get a little bit of a percentage back. I don't want to just take money from people, but if you're someone who's already going to be buying something on Amazon and you want to go out of your way to support me by clicking that link and then purchasing, then I really would appreciate it. But I'm going to go make my final meal of the day, spaghetti and chicken, and then we will wrap up this video.
Hmm. Well, this is problematic. All right, that is much, much better. I'm gonna end the video here. We ended up being about 100 calories short of our goal of 2100 calories. So I ended up having a few more green beans, which was probably 40 to 50 calories. And then for the remaining calories, I didn't track my butter throughout the day when I used it to coat the pan for the eggs and the chicken. So that was probably another 20 to 50 calories. So we basically hit it right where we wanted to be. I also hit my protein goal, which was one gram of protein per pound of body weight, which is about 150 grams for me. So that was great. And from here, we just need to keep going, stay consistent for the foreseeable future, and we will definitely see some changes. But again, that is all I have for this video. Thank you if you made it all the way to this point, and I'll catch you in my next one.